Wow. Here's my pre-show banter. I had a Zoom meeting with some people. The people on there had not seen me in a little while. They were like, oh, I like your hair. It's like the boy from Stranger Things. <laughs> oh, no. But I know what they're talking about. Yeah, I mean, they're right. They're right. Yeah, well, don't blame me. Blame Kevin Bacon's father. Ed Bacon. I can already tell you, I'm going to put that in with no context. Little House on the Prairie. What do you know about Little House on the Prairie? It was a series of books by Laura Ingalls Wilder. I definitely read at least the first one. The only thing I can really remember, in one of the books, it's wintertime, and they pour hot maple syrup on the snow. And also, potentially, that's not even from Little House on the Prairie. It's <laughs> some other book. My Side of the Mountain. Did you ever right, read that? Yeah. Oh, of course I read that. I wanted to I... be that kid. Was that the one where he like lives in a giant tree stump? Yeah, he was like, I'm bored. I'm going to go live in, in the wild by myself. And are they pioneers? And I feel like it's in a town. There are definitely other people around. So it's just, just prairie folk. I think it's very wholesome. I think and, with the Christian element. Oh, probably. Will this be a kind of father knows best type of show? I'm curious what the gender dynamics are going to be. Yeah, what part of the prairie are they on? I think that it's in Kansas. Also, this is the Christmas episode. It's the most important part. I selected this from the options because I love Christmas. This is probably a good one to choose because I think some of the other ones that I put on there are potentially tragic. Somebody goes blind at some point. That was the one that I listed first. Let's get these wagons rolling. Not mine. Mine's broken. Look how happy they wow, are. Wow, she's so happy. That's Melissa Gilbert. Oh, two Melissas. How that confusing. Must, that must have been a directing nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Christmas at Plum Creek. Look at, <laughs> look at her hat. Can you imagine when toys used to be made of China? I guess if you were a rich kid. Now our toys are made in China. <laughs> that girl is entitled. She's going to steal that horse. I'm sure Nellie must have some fine qualities in her. Your mother's right. Nope. She has a spleen. Back then you had to wear a hat even in bed. I'm calling it now. She wants to get her mom something nice. She doesn't have enough money. She's going to sell the horse for the money. And the mom's going to get a saddle for the horse. It's the gift, gift of, the, of magi. the magi. Somebody took my weed. So jealous that their wagon works. Oh, this is the fancy person store. What's caught her eye? It's a... A stove? You're right about the gendered aspects. That was a children's book series, right? Yardage, fancy and plain. Young Yardage went to a boarding school. To some of her friends, she was fancy. And to some of her friends, she was plain. What do you think was going on in the head of the tiniest child? We have been watching these characters just look at things in a store. <laughs> fix them up. I know there's a wrecked wagon. You're right. He's coming to you. He's well, going to retired. take my wagon. I hate these fucking bears. What are those? They're the poop bears. Oh, like toilet paper or something? You know that Christmas is not a time to ask questions. Or at any other time of year. <laughs> She's the spunky one. The dad is the spunky one. He has three kids. <laughs> oh, they're both going to make him a shirt. And then he's going to have to decide which one is better and who he loves more. And the other one gets sacrificed to the great God Jesus. I mean, it's not going to be a very big secret when her family realizes she doesn't have a horse anymore. <laughs> Mark is dead. At least we'll have good eating for a couple of weeks. I think I'll just wait till I go into Mankato. They have a better selection. Whoa. Where the fuck is he? The prairie. They made him walk all the way out there and back for that shot. She bought the stove. She oh, sold the horse for the stove. 
Have they not noticed that the horse is gone? This child gets mesmerized by things hanging. It's pretty. Thank you. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. It's not pretty. Two people are gonna give dad a shirt and two people are gonna give mom a stove. I can't believe the family hasn't noticed that her horse is gone. I guess when your life is so small, everything seems big. Like is that profound? Okay, I was wrong. The horse is still there. My internet connection is unstable. Oh no. Well, the horse is about to be unstable. Oh my gosh. Another weird hat. That'll keep her occupied for eight hours. So just a web of lies. Yeah. I was engaged, I will say. I was engaged. Yeah, I didn't pay attention the whole time. I definitely can understand if you're a kid, you're seeing the homes and the wagons and the little trinkets that they have back then and that's interesting and also the kids have agency over what they're doing mm -hmm. which when you're young that's interesting to see both of us sort of grew up in places that used to be the prairie so i wonder if this is more exciting if like you didn't learn about this stuff in school constantly i mean i don't is this show exciting to anyone they were also so weirdly happy, I think. Right. I think we're, we're meant to see this as a very healthy family unit. But in fact, they're all hiding things from each other. <laughs> she can't even like just be like, our oldest daughter who's going to go blind and I made you the same present. How funny. Right. Like, why do they need to lie to each other? If they were really a happy family, they would be able to be open about these hilarious misunderstandings. The, the characters are on a complicated spectrum from Mr. Olsen being the most complicated and the smallest daughter being the least complicated. <laughs> what? I, don't, I never know what to do when a child comes up. <laughs> you were really bothered by her in a way that I wasn't. I, it just makes my skin crawl. Because my other second favorite part of the show was a scene featuring her when she face-planted running down the hill. 